So I'm going to be talking to you about how a branch industry association can help uh, support sustainability in SMEs. So I'll begin with uh, by addressing some of the challenges, which Jude really explained very well, and she showed some nice pictures. And then afterwards, I'll try to show, via a case study we did, how a branch industry association can help uh, address these challenges. So to begin with, uh, I just wanted to show um, some examples of how the sustainability landscape from SMEs is really very dynamic. There's a lot going on. For instance, um, uh, environmental footprint is becoming more and more important for the EU. We have uh, DJ industry, which is in the process of evaluating whether to extend the MEUP directive to also include non-energy using products, such as clothes and household products. Also, uh, DG Environment is now in the process of developing product and corporate environmental footprints, which are supposed to be the basis for the sustainable production and consumption policies. Large companies are not uh, standing still. They're also taking the lead on product sustainability. There are companies like Unilever, BSF, Nestle, just to name a, a few, are setting you know, very ambitious internal targets. And they're also joining forces with other companies to standardize and harmonize uh, product sustainability metrics and reporting systems. So what does this mean uh, for an SME? Well, there's going to be a lot more requirements to comply with, and it's going to be maybe hard to keep up, which could have the effect of making them less competitive. Why? Well, um, they have a, a smaller company has a limited influence in a supply chain because they're often not a major customer. This ac lack of influence sometimes makes it hard to get good quality data. And also often, more often than not, uh, there's, there's no resources or capacity or access to tools to be able to develop this, you know, comprehensive sustainability metrics in-house. But uh, it's, you know, there's nothing to despair. Uh, a branch industry association can play an extremely important role because SMEs can join forces together and, um, you know, have a stronger bargaining power. It's also much more likely that a supplier will provide data to, an S, uh, to a branch industry association because it's perceived as a, a neutral third party. And also, um, an association is essentially a common platform for all of these SMEs to share knowledge, ch share information, and uh, share expertise. And it comes at a much lower cost because it's easier to do things together than alone. So of course, this sounds all very nice in theory, but how, how could it work in practice? So I'd like to use the example of UNETO VNI, which is a branch industry association in the Netherlands. Uh, the member companies install elect uh, sort of advertisement lights, like the ones you see in uh, you know, Times Square in New York. And right now they're in the process of switching from neon to LED lights, but uh, they didn't know what was the environmental impact of these lights. So um, UNETO VNI decided, okay, we're gonna commission an LCA study. And uh, so they decided to, uh, I'll give you just some details of the study. They wanted to, uh, to the functional unit was going to be an advertisement letter I of these specifications. It was going to be used for five years. Uh, the system boundaries, uh, they're going to take into consideration production, transport, and use. But they were going to exclude end of life and installation because that was deemed to be the same for all of the LED light systems. And the objective essentially was to compare eight different LED lights and to identify opportunities for improvement and obviously to communicate the results. Um, so what was very interesting is uh, the same lights actually have very different environment, uh, sort of impact in terms of uh, you know, environmental performance. Um, it was identified for all of them that energy uh, used during the use phase uh, was the most important life cycle stage. And um, key indicators affecting the environmental performance was the power factor, the luminosity, and the amount of watts used. And the most important indicator was actually the power factor. A low power factor means that you need more electricity uh, to produce the energy required for the system to work. So these were the results of the study. And uh, we think the SMEs uh, involved in the, in the um, project benefited in the sense that they now have better insights into their product life cycle. Before they had no idea 
where the environmental impact uh, resides. In. Now, for instance, they know that if they have to speak with their supplier, they need to ask for an electronic component in the LED lights, which has a high power factor. Similarly, if they have to communicate with their, cu their customers, they can inform them of the differences between the LED light systems. And uh, they got all this information relatively with a low investment because they had to pay the member contribution to the UNITO. Uh, they donated an advertisement light, and of course they donated the time they were present there for the discussions and so forth. Of course, knowledge alone uh, does not create value. Uh, you need some action, you have to be a bit proactive. So uh, UNETA VNI was very happy uh, with the sort of insights the study brought, so they decided uh, to continue, and essentially what they're gonna do now is monitor the energy use of these LED lights, sort of run a pilot test, to see if these LED lights actually are competitive and are, are gonna comply with legislation. They also decided, okay, we're gonna develop a web-based uh, sort of communication platform so we can provide guidelines to our member companies, um, share the knowledge. And also, I think this will also show that the industry as a whole is also showing that they're putting efforts in sustainability, so everybody looks better, I guess, in the process. And also, another uh, finding of the study was that an actually another very important uh, parameter when customers purchase uh, these LED lights is the luminosity. So what they realized, that they didn't know enough about this parameter, so they needed to do a further investigation to investigate the color temperature which affects um, the luminosity of these lights. And hopefully, this will improve, again, con uh, communication with the consumer, so... Um, you know, you'll know the differences in environmental impact between one kind of light and another, and depending on the, the color it emanates. So to conclude, I think that the branch industry association can really uh, help out an SME when they're trying to, you know, enter the sustainability arena. Um, obviously it's use, I would, if an SME wants to get involved and maybe doesn't have so many capacities, you know, it's advisable if they maybe try to find a branch industry in their sector that they can join. And if not, maybe they could work with their competitors and create a common platform. Uh, because there's more to be gained, I suppose, working together than trying to do it alone, because it can be actually extremely expensive trying to set up the whole process internally. So I hope I convinced you on how branch industries can uh, support sustainability. <laughs> and uh, thank you for your attention.